The fact that you could call somebody dick face and it's less an insult and more an accurate depiction of their face is a weird science fact that boggles my mind. You ever notice that when you're sick or you wake up after a few drinks, one nostril you can breathe through just fine and the other one's more closed off than Melania whenever she's in the vicinity of that mistake she made to get a green card? Well, it turns out that that's not a fluke, it's a function. See, this thing that we call our nose is actually our nose is. Despite being covered by the same skin flap, just like we've got two ears and two eyes, we have two noses. And they happen to operate independently independently from each other. And it turns out that when one side of your nose is plugged, it's doing that on purpose, and it doesn't only do it when you're sick or a little hungover. Your nose is actually shutting down one airway all the time, it's just doing it in a little less dramatic fashion. If you don't believe me, go ahead and test out right now. Plug each nostril individually, and you're gonna notice one's a lot easier to breathe through when the other one is plugged. Obviously, under normal conditions, you don't even notice, but when you're sick, it can get really frustrating to have one nostril all the way plugged up. And it can be even more frustrating when you can't clear that condition with a good heart blow, but don't worry, it's not the whiskey's fault that you can't get anything to come out. It's just that you're shooting blanks. There's nothing actually in there to get out at all. Turns out your nasal cavities are full of erectile tissue. Yeah, that kind of erectile tissue. See? I told you, dick face. Crazy to think that Futurama was once again more accurate than they probably intended to be with their episode about human horn. Your body actually sends blood to that erectile tissue and your alternating nasal cavities to close them down. So when your nose is plugged up like that, it's actually because you've got a heart on your face. But why does it do this? And and the answer is that we we don't know. However, there is quite a few theories and it's likely a combination of all of them. The first theory is that restricting airflow and alternating nostrils every few hours keeps either one of them from getting too dried out. Which makes sense, the more volume of air you've got passing through, the harder it is to keep moist. Another theory is that it could help with smell. If one nostril that stays open, allowing you to take in all of the air you need to, you know, not die, and the other nostril restricts that airflow, allowing the air to stay in your nose, passing over your olfactory glands longer, allowing you to pick up more smells. Others yet hypothesize that because your nose is basically the air filter for your body, this function could help limit your intake of allergens and respiratory illnesses. Ultimately, it's hard to say and harder yet to test because this function also changes as you age and it changes with a lot of other things like right-handed people prefer their left nostril. So it's hard to really find a control when it varies from person to person and year to year. But it's interesting nonetheless and it's the reasons decongestants like Sudafed work. Sudafed restricts blood vessels which restricts blood flow to the erectile tissue on your face and and basically reverse Viagra is your nose. And the last fun fact about our noses that I sniffed out for you today is that the functions of this feature, along with the shapes of our noses, may have derived from the climates that our ancestors came from. For example, people from colder climates seem to have developed longer noses with narrow nasal passages. Cold air is dense and dry, so limiting its intake and giving it more surface area to cover inside your nose helps warm it up and humidify it before going into your lungs. That could have helped prevent respiratory illnesses caused by cold, dry air. And in turn, people who came from warmer climates seem to have broader noses with wider nasal passages. In theory, this allows them to take in more warm air, which is less dense, and possibly gives room for more nose hair and mucus to capture allergens and diseases that are less prevalent in colder climates. Again, more research is needed to verify these hypotheses, but it is crazy to think about all the things that we don't know about our noses. But the fact that it's pretty neat that your nose is noses that knows that it needs to alternate narrowing nostrils to keep your nasals normal, well, that is pretty mind-boggling. Bling.